AI is such a powerful tool that most agency and business owners are aware of, but don't use it nearly enough. There are so many different ways that we can use AI, from software features, ChatGPT, Chrome extensions, to custom automations. My name is Brendan and I run Inflate AI, where my team and I help businesses integrate the latest AI solutions. In this video, I will break down nine different ways that we use AI within our agency to help you consider how you can also implement AI into your business. In addition to showing you how we use AI, I will provide you with all of the templates and resources required to set up these systems yourself. The first automation used weekly in our agency is an AI lead researcher automation between Calendly and Notion. Calendly is an appointment booking tool that we use. This is located in our video descriptions and our website. Leads can book through to speak with us and get started with projects. And before the initial call, I usually want to know who I will speak with. So we've set up an automation on make.com that instantly triggers once an appointment has been booked and makes a request to an AI agent platform called Relevance AI. Relevance will provide the information about the lead from LinkedIn and a Google search. This information is then sent into my Notion CRM to move down the lead pipeline. It's great to know leads immediately without any extra work. It can assist in making a sale as I can better understand their role as a business owner or employee. Additionally, this is great for lead qualification. If your agency or business receives a lot of unqualified leads, this setup can help you determine if someone is not a good fit. Ideally, you would prompt an AI step to read the lead research report and determine if they are someone likely to purchase your services or not. But this should only be done if you have a significant amount of leads coming in or have a really high amount of unqualified leads because you don't want to cut out any leads who may have been a good fit. The next automation we use is really simple to set up. We use an AI note taker app called Fireflies. This tool listens to all of your meetings and provides notes and recordings for you and your team. You can simply sign up for an account and assign it to join all of your Google Meet or Zoom calls and record them. After your meeting, you'll receive an email with the AI summary. We use this in our sales calls because we really need to go back and listen to the prospect and make sure we truly understand what they are looking for. The AI component helps you find parts of the call more easily and can provide summaries and action items you may have forgotten. Additionally, you can also query the notes like a chatbot. So if you have a specific question about something someone may have said, it also allows you to share the notes with other team members, which is great if someone didn't make the call. They can catch up on the meeting quickly without needing to listen to a full 30 minute to one hour sales call. The remaining platforms like Fireflies out there that do these meeting summaries, but this is just one that I had picked out first. Fireflies also has a few integrations which makes it even more efficient. We've got a Slack channel that all the meeting summaries send themselves into automatically so the team can look at every call that is made and review any if needed. If you are new to sales, then listening to and reviewing anything about your sales call can be useful as well. You could even ask the AI how you could have made a more compelling pitch or said something differently. You'll notice that Fireflies monitors the sentiment of the meeting participants as well, so it will tell you if the prospect is angry, happy, or sad. For number three, we've got an automation that takes all of my YouTube videos and turns them into blogs on my website. With a detailed prompt, this uses AI to look at the video transcripts and convert that transcript into an easy to read, well-formatted HTML blog that we send into my Webflow website. This automation is built on make.com. We use the YouTube module that runs whenever a new YouTube video is added to my channel. We send a request to Relevance AI to use an API to get the video transcript. Then we convert the transcript into an HTML blog that is sent back to make.com, which sends it into the Webflow CMS and publishes the website. This is a really effective way to repurpose content and generate new traffic and leads to your website. I found a good amount of traffic has come from these blogs since not everyone wants to obviously watch a YouTube video, we can provide the exact same content to those Googling similar needs or interests and still capture their attention. But I also have a video of the actual blog on the page to drive more traffic to the videos, which can help actually increase SEO for both the YouTube channel and our agency. For number four, we have AI email agents. This is a unique automation in which we essentially email new leads to an AI assistant to help with any inquiries. The agent fully responds by AI with no human intervention at all. The way the automation is set up is that when someone books an appointment with us, 24 hours later, we will send them an email that says, hi, I'm an AI agent from Aflate. I can help answer any questions you have about our services. So we don't try and pretend they are speaking with a human or myself. We are just honest and upfront about it and let them ask any question, essentially like a chatbot, but a bit more formal. Once they reply to that email, we can instantly process the response. We use VoiceFlow for building text-based agents. And one of the really powerful things about VoiceFlow is its API backend. This means we can communicate not only with our VoiceFlow agents, but also on our individual knowledge bases on VoiceFlow. For our automation, we use Make to detect the email responses on Gmail. The response is sent to voice flow to generate an email response to the question. This is prompted heavily to format it as an HTML email. If the voice flow knowledge base doesn't contain anything that can be used to answer the email, we've set up a condition that will let them know the agent couldn't help them and that now I have been added to the email thread to assist manually with that question. This is a really great system for us because we actually sell this system. So it's a great demo right away, but it's mainly good to provide another medium where someone can ask questions about our services. Collecting data is essential to understanding what people are most concerned about with our services so that we can refine our website off copy, etc., to be more optimized to eliminate any concerns and objectives that prospects have. Without this AI agent to collect this data, we will be significantly disadvantaged as to what our prospects are really thinking about our offer. This is 
system also helps alleviate any concerns for the prospect before the meeting and can help them be more informed and educated before the conversation we have. For number five, we don't internally do this, but we have a contractor do it for us and they use AI to do their task. This is for our YouTube thumbnails. Recently, we hired a contractor to start doing thumbnails. One of the ways they enhance the thumbnail quality is by using several AI image upscaling tools on my face. This is combined with adding special effects and then using AI to enhance the image multiple times to get a really crisp image. It works well and can help make the video stand out from other low quality thumbnails. Tools like Dali or Midjourney can also generate background images to be used in thumbnails as well. For number six, we have Adobe Podcast. This is an AI audio enhancing tool that we use for some of our YouTube videos. It's really useful for fixing bad audio and turning it into high quality studio sounding audio. It can mute background sounds and isolate all other sounds from your voice. It's really easy to do. You just sign up for an account on the Adobe Podcast website. You can pretty much just upload your file and then use a slider to change how much it actually affects the audio. For number seven, we have a website visitor detection tool. This doesn't use AI itself, but we combine this tool with an automated AI email sequence. Recently, I found a tool called RB2B, which allows you to install a script on your website's code and it will instantly start sending you contact information for people that have visited your website. They can look at certain user cookies and turn this into lead data from their database. It works pretty well since I receive a bit of traffic getting me around five to 10 leads per day. Recently, Instantly, an AI called email tool has released a version of this as well. I'm still testing Instantly and RB2B to see which one actually provides the best results. So let me know in the comments below if you'd actually like to see a comparison between the two. The AI comes into play when we set up an automated email sequence to turn this traffic into booked appointments. Currently, I've set up an automation between RB2B and Instantly, sending prospects into an instant campaign to send a sequence of three emails. These emails help engage website visitors, both reminding and educating them of our services. The goal is to get a reply by the third email and hopefully book them into an appointment. RB2B and Instantly both provide LinkedIn information as well for some of the leads. So an automation we haven't yet set up, but I would like to is a LinkedIn campaign using a LinkedIn automation tool to connect with the leads automatically, send them some messages and hopefully book them into an appointment. For number eight, we have our website chatbot. This is just your typical AI system that responds to user questions through a widget in the bottom right corner of your website. It simply answers any questions about our services and can provide assistance in booking a free AI strategy call with us. This chatbot is built on VoiceFlow and is the same agent that the email system is connected to. This is again why I like using VoiceFlow since we can connect this agent to multiple mediums. As much as I would like to set up an automated phone system on the website to allow prospects to call us, unfortunately we get a lot of unqualified YouTube traffic, especially focused on AI systems, so it would just cost us too much to let everyone call the phone all day. However, if I didn't have this traffic type, an AI phone number would be a great addition to the chat and email agents to provide another medium of communication and assistance for our services. For number nine, we have some really simple tools that I use daily. These tools assist in writing for example, ChatGPT, Grammarly, and Notion AI. This entire video script was enhanced with all of these AIs. ChatGPT is excellent for brainstorming and video concepts. The Grammarly Chrome extension works well to fix my writing and reformat sentences to make more sense. And the Notion AI works really well for simple tasks and time saving instead of having to format documents or categorize lists. Notion AI is really dynamic and can produce content in many different ways whilst having a lot of context from your Notion pages. Whilst these writing tools are quite well known, they are often quite underutilized as well. If you liked this video and want to see another way that we use AI in our business, check out this video where I build an AI phone system that gets us more leads through Facebook ads.